I'm Thomas Massey and I'm, I'm, I'm about to interview this person. Who are you? I am Mrs. Degelman. I am Thomas's teacher and I teach grade three, four at Douglas Park School. What is the Happiness Project? So our classroom has been doing the Happiness Project. Um, it started with um, working towards International Day of Happiness. We've been doing some activities around finding internal happiness. What do the students learn from the Happiness Project? So we have been exploring the ideas of mindfulness, self-regulation, self-care. Um, we have been doing an activity a day about these topics and we've been journaling them all on our blog and in our happiness journals. Uh, what, what do the students exactly do when they do the journals? The journals. So we take the lessons that I've been teaching about the different topics and the students have different artifacts that they keep in their journals so they'll have a keepsake of all of their reflections about their learning. What is your favorite part about the Happiness Project? My favorite part about the Happiness Project is the blog. Um, I think it's great to give kids a platform to be able to share their learning with kids from all over the world. We talked about the importance of um, updating our blog to share happiness with everybody else and not just keeping it within our classroom. So empowering students to share, I think, and connect with others has been the most rewarding part for me. What are some funny stories about the Happiness Project? So for Happiness Project, we have been making rainbow loom bracelets. So we were selling them to some of the students in our school and some classrooms that have been following along. And at the beginning, lots of kids hadn't even made one. And by the end, we were making 86 bracelets in one hour. So I think that's pretty funny that we were able to make that many in one hour. What inspired you to do the Happiness Project? So a few years ago when I was teaching grade five, um, we collaborated with the grade three teacher and we did a similar project around Grateful in April. Um, and we did lots of these same types of lessons in April. And this year I wanted to do it around the Happiness Project and the International Day of Happiness. And then we're also going to continue on with everybody in the learning community too for um, Grateful in April. Where do the proceeds to the Happiness Project go? So we have been raising funds for the Make-A-Wish Foundation in Saskatchewan. We are going to be sharing our proceeds at um, our next assembly, sharing our grand total. And we decided as a class that we would share it with the Make-A-Wish Foundation so we could grant somebody's wish to spread happiness to a child that maybe needs a little bit extra happiness. Is there anything else you would like to add? I would like to thank all the classrooms that have been following along, um, all the parents for getting on our blog and commenting. It's really rewarding for our students to be able to write and have feedback on their writing. Um, and thank you for everybody for donating and making our happiness project such a success. Where can viewers find more information about the happiness project? So you can connect with our happiness project if you head over to www.thehappinessproject.com dp.wordpress.com. They can find us there, can't they? Yep. Thanks. Thank you. For generosity, we're looking for people who look forward to being able to contribute to others and being able to give cherished things to, to people without expecting things in return. Miss Ajitan, grade 4, 5 class, Oliver H. and Bob M. Mr. Martin, grade 6, 7, Gemma Slee. On April 13th, these two classes along with thousands of other students from different school divisions were bused to the Kansas Art Center. It was a complete symphony concert with all the members present dressed in their tuxedos.
this project. It was amazing to see how much they raised with the race that fails. It all went to a great cause. In art said this class has been creating their own dance. They thought it would be funny if they dressed up like old men and women, lived a world life, and could give their own little bit of advice on happiness. Don't Worry, Be Happy by Bobby McFerrin seemed like the perfect song to choose for this dance. Will the old folks from Miss Devlin's class please come up to the front now? Don't worry, be happy. to go above and beyond what I would have ever expected. So 